Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's here. We have a Mercedes Sprinter had from one of my last videos where we diagnosed a fuel pump is not working. No fuel coming up and it was blowing the number six fuse on the fuse panel for the fuse pump. So a little bit out of breath from jacking her up, getting a bit too old for this. And if we come into the fuse panel up there, that blue fuse on the first line there, that one, number six, that's the fuse that was blown. Put a new fuse in it, it hasn't blown yet, but we need to change the fuel pump to prevent it happening again. So here I've got a Bosch fuel pump. Um, this is what it looks like. She's all wrapped up, but uh, we're going to need to drop the whole fuel tank, pull this out of the top and replace it. Hopefully we haven't got a full tank of fuel. Yes, so we're on quite a low level of fuel, which is a little bit handy. So here we are under the van here. We have it lifted up, got some straps couple of bolts there from the tank so now I'm just gonna go under and open the straps here and uh, I'll just have to brace the tank while it drops down Try to get in here if you can see there. Got the light on down there. There you have the fuel pump just up there. Right, so we have the tank down there. I've got a little axle stand just holding one end of the tank. And there is the fuel pump just there, so we're going to get it open. So just here and just pressing in these little blue tabs, and then we can pull them out from the other side there. So we've got that out, and we've got this one out. And the fuel lines should just pull out. A little bit of fuel there, spillage. Next one. Just two there. I've got an electrical plug here. So that's the plug. And two fuel lines off. Now kind of annoyingly I do have a sort of claw arm that goes over this and turns it off but I can't seem to find it uh, so I might have to go back to the old-fashioned way with a big chisel and a hammer and just hammer it open. Tilt it to the side to get out the uh, float. And then we got the float out. So that's it there, that's one fuel lift pump, fuel in tank pump. Okay, I swapped it around for the new tank pump here, and we uh, will just now slide it in so we're just going to tilt it back so we can get the float in sorry I'll try and get the camera on there for you get the float in like that and then we'll tip the rest of the pump in there so we might need to just 
get around the back here and move the uh, fuel lines just so they're not catching and then we should just slip straight in and get it in sort of that direction there so we're lining up with the fuel hoses Now we've just got it, we've uh, just wound it on by hand it's again, just going to give it a couple of taps with the hammer gently, just to try and lock it in, seal it tight. That'll do nicely there. Connect up the tubes again. in the tabs, connect up the power supply, just make sure that the pipes are sitting flush, back in the little uh, catches where they go there. So now comes the sort of hardest part is lining the straps back up to here while I'm trying to hold the tank, get it lined up and then put the bolt in at the same time. Let's try and get that in a position there where you can actually see what I'm doing. So now I'm just going to try and lift the tank, raise it up, just get my knees under it, slide along. Get one of the bolts, put it on my gun. Oh, this fell off. On there. Let's try and get the hole aligned up correctly. That's one. So that's it, tank is now back up. That was a lot easier than I was, was expecting really. But, you know, sometimes these tanks can be a right pain in the arse to get lined up. That seemed to have went on nicely there. Right, so we're gonna come back around here. We'll put the key in. I'll just give it a couple of cycles of the ignition just to get it primed up. As that new pump is gonna have air in it. So it might take a few seconds to get it pumped up to the actual end of the fuel lines up to the filter. A couple of more cycles. Right, get it out of gear. Give it a start. Depress the clutch. Now it should just stay running as long as there's no air in the system. This is the low pressure side so you there's not much chance of it happening really, but just give it a couple of ignition cycles anyway. When you open the high pressure side, you will get a lot more air and it's a lot harder to get it out. So that's it, seems to be running fine. You can see we've got the flashing engine light there, which is not related to this fuel pump. Um, he's got another issue there with the DPF, which uh, he can't really afford to look at right now. He's gonna call me back in a few days. Um, it's almost at closing time here where he's working, so he just wants me to get get the van running and leave it at that for today. Right, so we can let the rear axle down now. It 
So I say we just drop the front axle down and the job is done really here for that. So we will see you on our next video.